Hello guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We're starting off the day by making my eyes a coffee. You already know the drill, that's why you're here in the fridge, hello. But okay, so long story short, yesterday in the mid afternoon, I was feeling so tired, but I was like, I have so much stuff to do, but I don't have time to take a nap or to feel tired. So I told Jason to brew me two shots of espresso, but I just like kept going about my day and I completely forgot that I had the coffee just sitting there. So I was like, you know what? Let me just pop it in the fridge and then I'll just use it for my coffee tomorrow morning. It looks so delicioso. So I have my two shots of espresso, oat milk. Let's start making this iced coffee. Okay, so here's the 411. Usually, Jason makes my iced coffee or I buy it at like a coffee shop. But today, I want to try something a little bit different. I found this ground nutmeg in the pan. I cannot say the word pantry today. I want to say pantry for some reason. But I found it in pan... Girl, I can't, I, okay, anyways, let's move on. Let's just focus on the coffee, okay? Because apparently that's what I need right now. But I have my ice already and I have my shaker. Here is where Jason usually makes my brown sugar shaken espresso and it comes out so good, like so foamy. We're gonna take some ground cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon, okay? So don't judge me. And then I'm gonna add vanilla extract. Two shots of vodka. And then of course, the main ingredient, some brown sugar. Here we go, we're gonna flip it over and now we're gonna shake it. Whew, that was a workout, but do you see all that foam? Oh, this smells so good. Let's pour it into the cup. Look how beautiful that looks. That's exactly what I needed. So I know whenever you pour it, it doesn't look like a lot of coffee. Did I add this? I completely forgot to add this, probably did, but I'll add it at the top, so don't worry, don't worry, girl. I don't know why I'm so stressed making this coffee right now. <laughs> But anyways, so I know it doesn't look like a lot of coffee like once you first put it in the cup But like you can see it now look at all the coffee and then this is just foam Which to me personally, I like that because I feel like it adds a lot of flavor to the coffee And then i'm gonna be using this oat milk. I have never tried it before but it says extra creamy So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try Oh My god Let's mix it and see if I need to add more milk, which I doubt it Moment of truth, let's try it. Like if I had to honestly, like honestly rate my coffee today, I would rate it like a 9.5 out of 10. That is how freaking good it is. But also, look, I have all of these disposable cameras that I need to develop. <laughs> if I show you how many, you're gonna be like, girl, this entire bag, but I'm gonna develop two of them because I did not know this. Um, I don't know if you knew this either, but apparently they expire, the film expires. like. They have an expiration date here. I have to do that, but first things first, I'm gonna go fix up my hair a little bit while we drink the coffee, so let's go. We have made it to the restroom. Okay, I'm gonna start by fixing first my lipstick because I feel like I went a little too dark with my lipstick today, so I'm gonna be using this Nova Beauty lip liner in the shade Nude 01. Okay, yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Like more of like a natural nude pinkish color that's already looking a little bit better i'm gonna go in with this tarte maracuja lip product and just kind of like dab it that is already looking so so much better look at that i also wanted to tell you about a hair serum that i've been using lately so the serum that i've been using is the pitta growth serum so i do want to say thank you to sharp pour for sponsoring this portion of the vlog some of the things that i love about sharp pour is that they create natural hair care formulations inspired by ayurveda wisdom to give you fuller thicker and shinier hair their formulas are crafted and produced in the uk and they have been featured in vogue refinery 29 and more also their products are natural vegan and Protein free silicone sulfate and paraben free i really love how the serum is non-greasy and it is also an ultra lightweight formula and it is enriched with creatine and caffeine plus anti-hair loss and anti-dandruff actives and the best part is that it is suitable for every scalp and all hair types including colored and treated hair so now i'm going to tell you why i started using this serum so after i had caden i went through postpartum hair loss and although some of my hair did grow back there was one particular area 
where I was seeing no improvement and it was this area here which now it looks much better so I use this daily just because if you use it daily like you see best results you can also apply it to damp hair or dry hair and I use about four drops and then I just massage it into my scalp but let me show you how I apply it so the serum has been clinically tested and proven to deliver fuller thicker hair reducing hair loss a fall and shedding within 12 weeks of daily use so if you guys want to get your hands on the serum you guys can go ahead and click the link down below to get 20% off the Pitta Growth Serum. It is currently available in the US and the UK. And now let's go run our errands. Okay guys, I just got here to Walgreens. I actually ended up bringing four of the disposable cameras. I went on Google and according to Google, it says that even though they're technically expired, they can still like recover the film and it's good to go. I don't even remember when was the last time that I developed a camera. I think the last time I ever came was with my mom when I was probably like five or six. And I think it was like $8 I or $5. I'm pretty sure they uh, they still do it, but we're also gonna see how much they charge me per camera. Okay guys, I see the photo center, so here we go. You will never believe what the price is to develop disposable cameras. Like around $16.99 per camera. So we spend $63 for four cameras. And I still have like five left at the house. That's crazy. I did not think it was gonna be like $16.99. I was telling Jason like, wasn't it 10 cents for picture back then? Or it was like $5.99 for the whole camera, something like that. It looks like they should be ready and anywhere from seven to 10 days. So I'll keep you guys posted in the next vlog to show you guys the pictures. But right now we're gonna go to Costco because I have no waters, no toilet paper, no wipes, and also no pots to like wash our clothes. So like those are things that we definitely need. just left costco and i thankfully left with exactly what i needed i didn't get anything else but because i knew i needed to come to target i'm coming to target because i'm looking for a lego i want to go live today making the up lego like the up house which i think it's so adorable so hopefully they have it in stock there's literally so many options when it comes to legos but i found the one that i wanted which is 598 pieces so i think i might take this one but i'm still gonna keep looking around how freaking cool is the bowser guys that one's 270 but that one is 2807 pieces also the bonsai tree and the bouquet and the orchid seem really nice but i feel like i want to start with one first and then if i finish the first one that i'm going to build i will eventually want to do this one look how cool this one looks I'm making salmon for dinner with white rice and I want some, oh, oh girl, now me breaking the whole thing. I need some broccoli on the side. Oh, I was gonna get snow peas, but these don't look the best. So I'll just take the broccoli. I'm kind of craving like some tuna salad, you know? So I think I'm gonna get two of these so I can make some for later or some tuna sandwiches. So we just got out of Target. I also ended up buying a pizza for the boys because they really love it. So we're on our way to pick up Caden right now and I cannot wait to pick up Caden and see how he did in school today because I don't know if I told you guys, Caden, we've been trying to potty train him for a while now and he started off really good but then he just didn't want to use his underwear anymore so he went back to the diaper and I really like didn't want to rush him. I wanted him to do it at his own time. So last week we started again very slowly just like whenever he was home, we weren't using the diaper, just his undies and Today was the first day that I sent him to school without a diaper, so we'll see how he did today. I'm gonna ask his teacher, so I'll keep you guys updated when I pick him up right now. One hour later. Yeah, it is so hot outside, so hot. You have no idea, I'm literally out of breath. I brought in all of the stuff from Costco and Target, and also, I forgot to tell you, but Kaden did really good at school. He didn't have any accidents, no diaper. He went to the restroom in the toilet, so that's really good. They're just waiting for him to be like 100% ready and like potty trained for him to move to another classroom, so hopefully we can get him to keep on using his undies for like the next week week or so. Do you want to tell them hi? Say hi. hi you want to yeah. say hi, you? Show them the Lego that I bought, Leo. I bought this one. Ooh, mommy's going to build it. Are you excited? Mommy, mm. mommy, I want to build the door. You want to yeah. build it too? I was yeah. thinking yeah. of, you could put a, like a string that's invisible and it could be on top of mommy's beauty room is like it was flying oh out. like it's actually floating the only bad thing i've heard about this lego guys is that if you want it to be a full house you have to buy two of these legos and like a special little piece because mommy, right now technically mommy, it's only mommy, half of the house mommy, yes the balloon that goes inside, the balloon that 
Oh, and it broke that one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so like I was saying before, the kids came to show you guys the Lego. Kaden did really good in school. And then right now, I was going to start working on dinner, but we actually want to go to the lot to give you guys an update because a lot of things have changed and there's some things that are in the work that we're still kind of like indecisive what we want to do, which is why I also wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys an update. Now, here's the dilemma where we're kind of like stuck right now. So like I told you guys, the house is going to be sitting sitting on one fourth of an acre, which means that we have a lot of space in our backyard. And so me and Jason have been talking about maybe considering getting a pool. And I need your guys' input, your guys' advice. Like if any of you guys have a pool, what are your thoughts? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you recommend it? I've heard 50-50. A lot of people say, I love my pool. It's the best thing ever. We use it so much, especially with kids. And then I've heard other people say, it's such a headache, such a waste of time. You also spend so much money on having someone to come clean it maintain it and like all the products that you put in the pool and so i'm just like i don't know what to do our builder did tell us that we need to let them know in the next couple of days because they have to do like something specific in the backyard if we want to build a pool or not i'm just thinking do we want one do we need one no would it be nice to have a pool? Yes. I have never in my life lived in a house where there's a pool. And so I'm thinking like, do I really want it? Will it also be a good investment? Will it be a bad idea? So like, those are all the things that I'm thinking in my head. So I'm going to take you guys. And once we get there to the lot, I'll show you like, if we end up doing it, like where the pool would be. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of a pool? Do you guys say yes, it's a good idea or no, it's a bad idea. But I'm going to start working on the snacks for dinner. I'm going to make salmon rice and the vegetables like i told you guys so i'm going to take out the salmon right now so i can let it thaw out by the time we come back and then we can make dinner and i'm thinking maybe i can make some tuna salad that sounds really good for a snack i'll see you right now okay guys i just got here to the lot and they already started framing guys oh my god that is so crazy so let me try to give you like a tour like i'm gonna try to picture how everything is this is the garage and then the front door will be here and then from here this is jason's office okay and then this one is the restroom like the powder room this here is the oh wait wait laundry room laundry room here and then that's part of our restroom i believe guys it's so confusing trying to picture it this way but i think pretty sure this is the laundry room and then here oh my god i have to be very careful kitchen area living room that's where the fireplace will be and then over here is where our master bedroom is gonna be this is the porch we extended our back porch so it can be a little bit bigger if we were to build the pool guys we would build it like right around that area so let me get down here so I can like show you and give you guys a better view. Also, it's really windy, so I don't know how the audio is gonna be. But if we were to build it, it would be like around this area here. So then up there, that's where I was, the porch. And then this is the rest of the backyard. So what do you guys think? Let me know. But oh my god, I cannot believe, guys, they already started framing and it looks like they're already working on the second floor so they'll probably be done sometime this week okay guys we just got home i was snacking on some blueberries because i'm so hungry but i have my broccoli here i'm also going to start working on the white rice and then this is the salmon that i bought at the grocery store yesterday so that's what i'm going to be making for dinner jason also has like some barbecue ribs or something like that he's going to be making so we need to start working on dinner guys because we're starving dinner is done guys i have my rice the broccoli and the salmon i also have my sprite here so i'm gonna eat and then we're also watching a rush hour so we're gonna enjoy our dinner don't even ask me how it's already 12 in the morning and i am still wide awake i don't know why i do this to myself every single night and tomorrow i need to be awake at 5 30 the latest so i put up my hair somewhat it does not look the best but honestly i'm so ready to go to bed so i have a different makeup remover in every single restroom because i'm always all over the house so in this restroom i always keep this makeup remover which is the one that i'm going to be using today and it's just like a bomb i use the eyebrow gel from beauty creations and i swear not even this bomb like breaks down the gel that gel like once it's on it's on you can literally go on a roller coaster that's going like 160 miles and your brows probably will not move at all you have no idea how good it feels to not have makeup i'm reaching that phase where i rather wear no makeup 
then makeup. Once I take off my makeup, I go in with this water cleanser. This one is the one that I keep in this restroom as well. It's from the brand Good Light. And as you guys can see, I use it a lot. I'm done washing my face. Now my face and my lips feel so dry, but I don't want to put any product on because I'm going to hop on the shower. So it's kind of pointless, but I'm going to call it a night guys because I'm so tired and I'm so ready to go to bed. But I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!